So today a box arrived with some goodies inside. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm not going to do the whole opening with the knife thing, but this is what it came with. Some nice packing paper, some nice protective plastic, and then we got all kind of audio goodies. Let's take a closer look. Okay, I got this from one of you guys and you all know him, he is Andre. If you have watched the latest room tour video, you have seen his room, you have seen his CD collection and he sent me this care package, which I'm very happy with when I asked him why. He said, well, one reason is because of your birthday already, which is next week. And he is also a big music fan. He got these, but he got them double. So he sent them to me. I'm very happy with that. So let's see what it is. As you can see, there's a few CDs and very happy with those, a few cassettes. And the reason he did away with his cassettes, because these were not doubles, is because he does not play cassettes anymore. And I do, of course. So let's see, what have we here? First off, is this wonderful innuendo from Queen. It looks in still very, very good condition. Let's have a little look at the inside. Over here, as you can see, it has not been rewind, but this looks like the original. This looks in very good condition and have a nice J card that is also really in very good condition, almost like it's never has been used. So that's interesting. So that's number one, Queen. On to the second one, we have. Robert Palmer, Riptide. This is actually also in a very good condition. It looks beautiful. Let's open it up. And here we have the cassette itself. This has been rewind. Very nice. These are all originals. And the tape looks uh, maybe a little bit stretched, but we're going to find out if this works. Let's take out the J cards. You know, a lot of the times when I find uh, cassettes uh, in the thrift stores, they are pretty beat up. But this one looks still very pristine. Happy with that. Thank you very much. Here we go. The best of Julio Iglesias. Now that would not be my kind of music, but I'm very happy having this cassette, another one in a very good condition. Tell me if you like the sound of uh, Julio Iglesias. If I look at the inside, this it says promotional music tape, nothing about the music that is inside. I don't know if this is an original. They still have the, the little pieces here that you remove when you have recorded a um, cassette and you want and you want to prevent from accidentally recording over something that you don't want to but this might not be the original but still and then here we have Neil Diamond and Neil Diamond is also probably not a cassette that I'm going to listen to very often but this cassette is also in a very, very good condition. And maybe someday there will become um, a day that I can make somebody happy with this, this cassette. A nice MFP recording. The paper on this one. It's much less sturdy as, for example, the one on the Queen cassette. 
but the condition is very good. And then we have one more cassette and this is the wonderful Paula Conte. So I have this on CD, I have this on a nice LP. I have been live to his concert, actually a lot of the songs on this uh, cassette I have heard live in that concert. So this is one that I'm going to play a lot and this is one that I'm very, very happy with. So let's open it up. A nice see-through case. It's the other side. And let's have a look at the card. This also looks like it has not been out of the box very often. Looking very nice. Side one, side two. So this is also one that I am very happy with. So let's move on to the CDs. Over here we have a wonderful Miles Davis box. Of course I love Miles Davis. Kind of Blue is one of my favorite albums. This is called the Munich Concert. As you can see three CDs in here. Let's see uh, about the songs on there. And if we open it up, we have one, some more artwork, some more of the, can I go further back like this? Yes, here we have it. Three CDs in a wonderful box, even with some nice artwork on the rear on the inside i can appreciate that they make you pay a lot of money for these editions the least they can do is also make us feel good about these editions so miles davis thank you very much wonderful edition moving on to some classical music debussy and this is the Preludes books one and two. I'm not sure if I know what music this is. I don't have a lot of Debussy, so I'm very happy to be able to explore that. Um, a wonderful Deutsche Grammophon edition. Here you go. Let's have a look at the CD and this looks like it has never been played, no scratches at all. A nice little booklet. That's right. And of course with a lot of these classical um, editions you have all the information in English uh, German and French. Three languages that I can read, although French will take me a little bit longer, but I'll get by. Wonderful Debussy. And then we have one more left, which is this one. This is, let me get it in frame, Romeo and Juliet from Prokofiev. And this is done by the Berlin Philharmonic. I get a good picture it's a little bit shiny and this is a Sony edition and a lot of these Sony recordings are actually very good a lot of warmth to them let's have a look at the CD itself this has been used a few times but still looks very pristine nice little booklet let's see what they have in there And a little bit about the story of Romeo and Juliet uh, in relation to the songs that are on here. Okay, so let's put this all back together. Okay, and here we have it, my cassettes, my CDs, 
and I'm going to enjoy that. A big thank you to Andre for sending me this. Now, if you have the uncontrollable urge to send me something, drop me a line at theaudiophilebarista at gmail.com. I'll give you my address. And to finish this off, let's see if I can give you a little sound clip. 